Um, what let's do is I'm currently in edit mode right now on his lunch or golf with movie stars, which is awesome, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to switch to add mode, okay, so I can add a new one. And let's, uh, let's deck it out a little bit. Instead of going, like, ballistic and adding all these permissions, let's give me a reason that we would need to track time, and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Do we want to tie some customers? Do we want to do some invoicing? Do we want to just assign a location? We have multiple locations in our thing. Do we want to, how do we want to do it? Or, yes, Russ. I was going to say, kind of with uh, Joe's example, that so we start a project, and we're doing a couple hours here, a couple hours here. We don't know exactly when we're going to get done, but we want to be able to capture that whole entire time period, uh, all the hours once we are done, so we can build. OK, so. great, great. So what would we call that? How about we call it jobs? Billing? Billing. billing. Jobs billing. Jobs billing. OK, great. We're probably going to need a start time, end date, end time, potentially. We don't even know. Um, do we need a target? Yes or no? I'm going to say no for right now. And let's come down and say we do want to um, single user assignment. Who's assigned to this job? What do you mean target? OK, a target is like due date. Okay. Does that make sense? So like, OK, I'm going to start this job, but it's got to be due by this. It's just another piece of the, the okay. puzzle that you could potentially record. OK. okay. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of talk about a bunch of these things. I'm just am trying to kind of show you this idea. What I'd like to do right now is actually create a little job, and then we'll go in and we'll play with that sub dates and times, just so you can kind of see how some of these little pieces work, OK? Should it be billable? Are we going to bill it? Oh, so you're talking actually clear to the invoicing level? Well, I thought that's what we were doing. OK, yeah, 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 yeah. So if I start doing invoicing, here's what I do, OK? I probably am going to go like this. I need to invoice and quote this. I need to tie it to a general amount. I'll probably need a total. And I probably want to assign it to a customer. OK? So I'm going to click on a few more things. And I'm going to come down here. What's the default color we want for these jobs billable? Black. Black? OK, perfect. Click, click the black. I'm going to come down. Uh, I'm not sure if I need this. I'll go ahead and leave it. It doesn't hurt a thing. And I'm going to say, I want some additional subs. Boop, boop, boop. Kind of, these are sub dates and times. Okay. So basically, I'm going to come down. I'm not going to do anything else. And I'm going to say, add that template. So now what we do is we actually have one called jobs billing. So let's go, let's pretend that we're somewhere else here. And we say, cool. Let's actually do a jobs billing one. Now, we have a whole bunch more settings that are now allowed. Okay? What do we want to call this job? How about working with Joe, just for fun? Okay, let's say that we're going to start this today at 3 o'clock. Okay, we're not sure when it's going to be done. I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to leave that as auto-calculate. I don't even have a slightest idea what the full amount is going to be, which will end up being part of the invoicing piece. Um, eventually, uh, we will need to invoice this. Okay? And we don't know the invoice number yet. It's assigned to Brandon. It's action status. I'm going to say that we are kind of in progress. And who do we want to assign this to? Should we actually uh, assign it to Shannon or Danny or somebody like that? Okay. Um, I'm just going to put Shan. And what are we doing for Joe? Joe, what are we doing for your job? Um, you have to polish your here. golf clubs? Yeah, oh. <laughs> playing golf with uh, Clint Eastwood. Uh, better look nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say uh, golf club repair. <laughs> Computer repair. Very good. Don't worry, you'd rather have me shine your golf clubs and fix your computer. I promise you. Okay, perfect. So we're going to add this element of time. This creates the main, very similar to what we've done before. Oh, guess what it did? It said, hey, currently working with element of time number 23, but you said that you were looking for a SHAN. So I'm going to say, hey, cool. Let's assign this to Shannon. So I now have Shannon assigned to it. It needs to be invoiced. It's in progress. It's black. And I've got at least the start date. And I have some notes down here. And it says that it's in progress, and I can now add whatever I needed to add to it, okay? 
So basically, it's starting to build. It's like, oh, wow, I'm a little bit more advanced. I'm going to be holding some stuff. Let's add some subdates and times. Okay, so today, uh, we started consulting with Joe. And I'm going to basically say that we were started this morning at 8 a.m. And I actually was with him for 2.5 hours. Perfect. And we talked about his computer problem. Go ahead and add that cell. Okay, so what it's going to start doing is it's going to start keeping track of what's going on. Okay, later today, say it was a little bit later, and uh, about 12 o'clock, we actually met for lunch, and we did an hour lunch. And we just add that in. Oh, the saying it, you didn't fill in stuff. So really, I can use this to um, track what I've done with clients, because sometimes if you have so many at once, and you're not familiar enough with them and their, their business, it takes you know two or three times to really remember where you're at with them. You could just put it in your own personal schedule, like consulting, and you can tie in your customer being your client that you help so you know where you left off or whatever. Correct. So I'm basically, what's happening, once again, if you can think one to many, you'll be like, oh, okay, I, I kind of get this. The main is 23. So up here, I could search by 23, and it would land me right to this guy. However, I'm starting to put in some subs. Uh, what happened with this? Oh, you know what? We're no longer in progress. We're now completed. Change. So what this does is, look at this. I'm starting to add, we were in progress, and then we were completed. It kind of rolls it through and says, how long was it? For two, two minutes and 38 seconds, 2.38 minutes, we basically were in the in progress status. Like one to many, one to many, one to many. Down here under sub dates, if we needed to add another one, um, say we were also going to be meeting today after school. Well, this is awesome. I never used the elements of time because they weren't really there before. And so I would just clock in and out for each of my clients, set me up under clock in, clock out, and then make detailed notes so I remember what I did that time and how Correct. it worked. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But this is just a little better. So I purposely left this one hanging a little bit. I didn't know exactly what was going, but I kind of left it hanging. But you can kind of see the little indicators that say it was left hanging. Okay? At any point in time, say we physically knew that, okay, we ended up going till, say you wanted to be really detailed. We went from 5 o'clock to 7.27. Okay? You literally could go like this. Edit. Okay, this is funny. Just a second. Um, I just want to show you this is funny. It's actually counting down to <laughs> T minus. <laughs> it's actually counting down. If I actually refresh that, it may, like, just because it's doing minutes. Watch this. Let's see if it's actually counting down for us. 12. T minus yeah. 12. Okay, like, it's, it's kind of, <laughs> it's just funny. I think I added that for fun. But, um. <laughs> okay, we're going to go edit. And now we're going to say, physically, I left her house at 727 p.m. Okay? Okay. Uh, um, after the fact, kind of adding some stuff. Great meeting. We talked about whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, unlimited. Once again, like you can just kind of just go and go and go and go and go on a lot of these things. So all of a sudden, it's, it's starting to add up some different little pieces. Did I not put in? Uh, I didn't click the right thing. Sorry, my bad. Exact. And I wanted it to go to 7:27. I probably didn't switch that little switch right there. See how it didn't actually hold that little piece? It was probably still up here under unknown. I had to say exact. Now it will uh, map it right to that. That was exactly 2.45 hours. Okay. Awesome. So guess what? We want to add this to the cart. We want to build it. We want to like <laughs> you can you can do whatever you want it to. What's that? Can we build it based off of those hours? Okay, so correct. So what I would probably recommend that you do is you see this little general amount right here? I would probably come to this and kind of be like, okay, what have we got here? 2.5 plus this plus this plus this. Like, it's not actually doing the math for you, but that's like, okay. Um, yep. Uh, and it may even do it. Let's, let's just see what happens. Let's not 
Here's what I was going to actually propose is that we actually alter this and say, hey, I'm going to charge them this much money. But let's go ahead and just say add it to the cart and see what happens. Add it to the cart. It's going to prompt me, hey, which location are we at? Stuff like this. So I already knew that we were on Shannon. I don't have any, oh, look, it even brought in her <laughs> special ship to because we had that assigned. Okay. And down here below, it actually pulled in some pieces of the puzzle. Okay. So the total time, I don't have a total total because I don't, I'm missing some of the pieces. But it adds up all of these things to kind of show me what's going on into the shopping cart. Okay. Um, so basically what I would do at this point is I would actually say, cool, let's go ahead and add, uh, add an item. And I know that we have some stuff in here called consulting. Okay, do we want to do the Denver training consulting or the generic consulting? It doesn't really matter. 85, now. 85 great, great, good call. <laughs> so um, basically what I wanted to do, I'm, I'm here and I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. I need to know how much total I have here, okay? 5.95, okay. So technically, I could do that again. Let's go ahead. Hours and 40 minutes. So the, the decimal point is not minutes; it's percentages. Of, it, it's a percentage it's of a percentage whole. of an hour. Okay. Percentage of a whole. Okay. So 0.45 or an hour, not 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So um, basically, here's your information. What was the number again? We got two and four. Five point nine five. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go back to consulting, and we're going to say the eighty-five dollars an hour. Yeah, five point nine five. We're basically adding a line item in there. Five point nine five at eighty-five. It's going to be labor consulting. Did we want to add any other notes? You could okay. essentially put a discount right there, right? Just to sure. make it look good. Yep. So you could even ten percent discount. Everybody likes a discount. Yep. Piece of cake. So basically, what we're doing is we're building the cart from here. We still have Shannon. We still have our random ship to address. I don't think we need that right now, so we'll just kill that. And then we basically have a line item. Here's my consulting. So it was five hundred bucks, and then I gave a little bit of a discount. On the consulting, um, for your ref this, some of these pieces won't actually show up when you physically do the physical invoice. But here's all of my pieces. Okay, so now I can check out. Check out. So how did she pay for this, Roxanne? Um, cash. Cash. Okay, great. So it's the same basic checkout as a normal thing. We say create the invoice. It's just waiting for a second. Boom! Invoice number thirty-seven. And this one has a little extra that we've never seen before here. It has this little thing called elements of time. It's actually tied to number 23. But this is currently what's showing up on this particular invoice. Now I have some options. Check this out. If I wanted to, hide the element of time, please. Okay. So here's the same invoice showing the same thing. The invoice, the element of time is still technically attached. Okay. But it's just it's, a button at the top? Yep. It's okay. under more options. Okay. And it, it's just a little toggle. Show hide elements of time. So now it actually shows the number 23, the black. Da, da, da. So it doesn't show a ton, ton of information, but it kind of says, hey, here's what this is and what's going on. Why would the taxes be a negative figure? Oh, because we have discount is taxable. And oh. under my location, it's actually associating that with, like, you, um, if we needed to fix that, it's not a problem. We, we could fix that. Uh, should we fix that right now? You guys want to see how to fix it? Okay. So because it's a labor discount. Yeah, it's so so here's what happens. If we're just primarily services, we would not make discount taxable. Okay. It would have a totally separate tax category. However, we have stuffed animals and services and like so I put discount as taxable so that when we actually did it on a real taxable item, it would reverse that tax out. Or you could okay. use discount products, discount, discount services. Separate. Correct, correct. Okay. And you could even use buttons, like my cart favorite buttons, if you wanted to have flip-flopped between the different pieces. The other piece is if you physically in the cart, actually um, flipping it right there and doing update cart. But uh, after the fact, oh my goodness, I didn't want that to reverse out any sort of taxes, okay? How do I fix this, okay? So I have a small problem. Fixed or 
that, that would screw up your tax payments. Then, wouldn't it? Okay, correct. Basically, it, it says, hey, I was a tax. And negative tax is fine. It's what happens on a discount, on a real discount, on a taxable item. It really is a negative tax that would need to be applied. Okay? So here's how we're going to fix it. I need to get into edit mode. I can't do anything from here. Okay? Let's get into edit mode. I'm on the invoice number 37. I'm going to come down. I know it's on this particular piece because it says it right here. Okay? So I'm going to say edit. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, guess what? You really were labor. And go ahead and recalculate for me. No problem. Edit that line item. So what this does is it backs out the tax. Okay? However, I've got a problem now. I'm off by $2.48 according to this one that says check the math. Does this look familiar to the PO? So how would we fix that? Edit main. Okay? So you come right here. It says, hey, just so you know, the sum of the line items is four fifty five instead of four fifty two. Four fifty five seventeen? Edit that invoice. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I have printable options. It's good to go. I back the tax out. Oh. Looks like right here, uh, she still would need to owe me some more money. So technically, this would still show up in Shannon's receivables that she still owes me $2.48. Unless she paid that difference, and then we would just add, edit that and make that correct. Yes? So at the back of the invoice, uh, just towards the end, is there any way I can add all the times that I was with her on that invoice? You mean like multiple, multiple different things? Like if, if my my uh, customer wanted to know every time that we were together and just all that different, all the elements that I put into charging them, if they just wanted to see it all correct, put that all Sure. In place. So here's what I would kind of do right here for them. I'd go like this. Go to invoice 23. I'm sorry, element of time number 23. And uh, hang on, it's just kind of thinking for a second. Once I get there, I can actually go and, and physically show her every single thing that I did for her. I'll show you how it does it. The internet's just trying to kind of catch up with me right now. Well, I'm going to be much more organized with my game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do right now, it seems like it's kind of stalled out for a second. So here's how I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to click this little red X which says stop that motion. And then I'm going to resubmit it and see if it was just if it just hung for a second. Okay, that's how I would do it. So Russell, right here, this is the pieces that you wanted to show, her, right? All yeah. of those pieces. Watch this. If I go into working with time and I scroll down and I say, hey, you know what? View all the additional subs on their own report. I could go like this and I could literally say print. Okay. So as a matter of fact, we'll do that. Print and we'll just. Um, I just want to show you how you can do it. Okay. You go right here and you say print. Or if you did a screen capture and you sent it to her in a document or however you want to do it. But it's going to print off this whole thing. It's basically going to say, hey, on this particular project from 8 to 10, from 12 to 1, to 5 to 7, here's what I was doing. Here's the total hours. I can give her this little piece right here if I wanted to. Or if that doesn't look like the right format, I can go, ooh, let's go file. Let's change that to landscape, so it's going to stretch it out a little bit. Like that's just a printing option, but like. So we couldn't put all those elements of time on the invoice itself. Not the subs, not, not the, the subs, subs themselves. The but if we had the main, and if the place that I was going to head with that, if the, I actually associated the physical value with it, all of a sudden it'll help me do some math. Okay. okay. So um, we did it through the subs because we started a job where like ding 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 right. ding, and. Uh, one of the ways that this was developed was actually main element, main element, main element, main element. And say you get done and you have five of them you need to bill for this particular customer. What you do is because you've got all of those things added up, it will automatically help you start doing the math. Hey, you've got 10.7 hours that you need to work for this, this person versus doing it in the subs. And it, it depends on your, what okay. your needs are and how you want it to do it. Okay? Okay. So, um, 